Hare Krishna, and welcome to the beautiful seaside town of Sochi here in Russia, where Indudumna Swami, Buddha Hari Prabhu, and myself continue our preaching tour in the springtime. Sochi is a wonderful city to visit, but it's also a wonderful city for spreading Krishna consciousness. Despite the fact that since the early 11th century up until the middle 20th century, there has always been some type of war or strife or battle going on in this area because it's a very desirable place. In the mid 1900s, things began to calm down quite a bit and so she began to come into its own. It's a very popular place for families to come and spend their vacations as there are many attractions here, aquariums and amusement parks and all different types of museums and things. Since the early 1990s, the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust headquarters was founded here in Sochi in what is currently the existing temple. In 2007, that building was turned over to ISKCON as the local temple, and now it thrives with three buildings, a yagnashala, and beautiful grounds that are decorated with all types of flowering trees. When you look at everything, you can't believe you're actually in Russia because there's palm trees, banana trees, fig trees blossoming everywhere. The devotees here, they've been able to very successfully establish several Namahata programs. They're a bit limited in some of the outreach programs they can do here in Russia, but they're very successful with their Namahata programs. The community has an active force of about 150 members, and on festival days that swells up to 300 plus members. Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare.
with such a large community of devotees, it's a great opportunity for Induduman Swami, Bhattahari, and myself to really appreciate the association of these wonderful Vaishnavas. Whatever obstacles are in their way, they persevere with great enthusiasm, with great devotion, and a real joy to receive all the devotees as they come through and share their experiences in Krishna consciousness. We actually are the ones that benefit from their association more than they can ever know. Because seeing how Krishna consciousness continues, even after Srila Prabhupada's departure physically, and seeing how much new families and new communities are growing and Krishna consciousness is spreading, is a great joy and satisfaction to us. We like to return to Soshi time and time and time again, and we hope to be able to do so in the future. Just remember, if you're in Russia, you must come see Soshi. It's the Mediterranean of the Black Sea. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Tá, 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 tá,